What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can fix the sliding door on this uh, 2000, I believe a 2006 or 7, it's a Honda Odyssey. And we have a problem with the sliding door. It's not that one, it's actually this one over here. So the problem is that it's not working. So just to give you an example, when you use the switch, this is to turn it off and on. When you press the button, he opens the door automatically you can see that one works works fine and to close it works fine but now on the other side which is the driver's side it doesn't work that's to open it and if i open press nothing happens even if you you don't really have to have the, the ignition switch open you can even open it with the with the remote control you can open the, the sliding doors so let's diagnose what's going on with this door so i recently fixed another problem but i couldn't film because we were too busy but now i have the chance to do this exactly the same problem replicate it so for this we're gonna open the switch and usually if you don't have a scanner then you can just jump in right into the door because we have to open it yep we have to open it and to confirm that i'm gonna go first to the body easy which controls the modules each door has a has a module on the very far but the uh by the pillar it's hidden in there and the same with the other door it, the module is really really hidden in there so to diagnose what's going on with the door I'm going to first select the body and as you can see here it says power sliding door I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna check codes I already checked for the codes and it has a code on the door which is this power sliding door base switch open so now I have a small uh, trace where I'm gonna work on but to confirm I'm gonna go to live data and the first thing you want to do if you have a scanner if you don't just go ahead and open the door I uh, and keep watching the video I'll show you what's the issue but if you're trying to diagnose you know what exactly is the problem then you're gonna do this first we're gonna select uh, the latch uh, we're gonna select all these and then after that you're gonna select ratchet which is gonna be this so these two we highlight those and now we have or um or order right here and as you can see the ones that are on that's for the right door and i'm gonna show you if i open it it's gonna show you off okay that's the right door as you can see it says off and you can notice the difference that one of the switches on my driver's side it's off that's the ratchet switch so I'm gonna close the other door again and you're gonna see them on all of them must be on when they're closed but this one on, on my driver's side, it shows one off. So we have a problem here. One of them is either not working or it has a lot of dirt in it. So let's just jump in right into the door and let's open it. All right, let's go. Okay, so the first step is we need to remove this. So just gonna get rid of three, two, one, boom, it's gone. All right, so the next step is we have to get inside the vehicle and we're gonna need to remove this panel right here, all of it. And first you have to remove this bezel, this. And for that, we're gonna need a screwdriver or something like this, as you can see. So let's just start working on it. All right. So 
the bezel is removed already and now the next step is we need to remove this handle right here so for that I'm gonna use a cool trick that I learned over time and it's by putting a rack like this just on the on the side and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it down from one side so the clip can go off the uh, off the handle all right let me let me see if we can do it with these two hands I can hear a click and there we go we have the clip right here as you can see and we just pull the handle just pull it out and you can just put it back put the clip back into this thing so you don't lose it all right and the next step I believe is we have to pull all of this all this like this because it has clips right here right here all over so when we, we need to pull really really hard because it's gonna be it's really tough to remove it so yeah just give me let me give you a little sample like this it has clips all over so I need to do the same thing on all the edges I'll be back when I remove this and I almost forgot to mention you have to remove this also because when you remove all of this you're gonna need to unplug it from the connector so this one is really easy to remove you just lift it from one side and slide it out it's gonna come come out really easy and for the clip it's gonna be very simple too just pushing the top and removing it and um, the next step is once you have the uh, all this loose loosen up already we're gonna lift it to the top that way you we can remove but first we have to lift it out of here because it's gonna be a little bit tough all right so I'm gonna work my way and uh, good luck and as you can see I already uh, removed it so you just have to pull up really 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 hard to remove this and the next step is removing this I would recommend just uh, removing one side because the only thing we have to remove is over here uh, is this and for that we need to remove um, just this side so let me just uh, be a little bit careful right here because this is a really hard glue and it's cold right now so it's gonna be really hard to to remove it unless I use a heat gun but if I use a heat gun it's gonna shrink this so I'm just gonna like pull it out to see if I can work it out all right Alright, so we have this already here and you can just put it right there. That's that's why I did the hole because I've done it before. <laughs> so what we need to remove is uh, we're going to remove also these, um, these cables. So we're going to do the same thing over here. They go all the way over here. Man, this thing is so hard. Come on. <clears throat> there we go. So we need to remove from here. And we just press this tab. It goes out. Let me see if we can find my little clip. Alright, let me see. So for this, we just release the top and pull it 
like this and we just pull this one and this one you don't have to remove the bottom one so we release it like this and that one too there we go make sure you don't break it so you can only uh, I use my thumb to remove it and these clips they are a little bit tricky to remove because they have like inside the clip the clip inside from the other side and the only way to remove it is just by pulling really hard on like this so you can see what I mean that's the what I mean this one yep so we do the same thing with all of them and some of them are gonna break but don't worry it's okay it's just because of the age of this they're gonna break really really easy I'm trying to do my best to not break them so I'll be back I'll remove these and let's continue with this all right so before any step uh, we need to remove these uh, bolts that hold the latch so you're gonna need a 10 millimeter for that one and I already have my my ratchet right here I'm gonna need a 10 millimeter like this one and just remove it just remove it remove it now leave the bolts Right, just take them by hand remove those and I put them oh my this magnet because I don't want to lose them Whoa. now the next step is we need to remove these two bolts right here bolts are important but before doing that we need to remove the connectors which I already have pre-removed we need to remove this unplug this one and also this one just put the connector aside all right next the last one is gonna be this one. you can see this moving already so once I remove it, it's gonna fall. And yep. Then just unclip it from this one. From this side, probably you're gonna need something a lot, a little bit more hard than just some uh, plastic clips. Because um, actually, you need to slide it this way so I can remove it. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, there you go. So the tricky way is to remove the whole thing. No, you got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it doesn't go out, so we need to remove this. This one is the bolt that holds the reel for the window. And it's doing a little bit of a force behind right there. So I need to remove this and I'll pause the video because I need two hands to remove that. And you under you will understand why because it's it's hard or let me see if i can just do one, one hand but no no i need both hands so i'll be back hey guys so i already removed this and that's the thing i was talking about you need to lift this that way you can remove it from this side and 
the next step is obviously remove all this and there's a way to do it but first you need to put the other end going that way that way you can just pull it out like this and we see here that our problem is gonna be all this dirt and I'm just gonna remove the cover and show you what's the problem okay we have here the whole assembly and we need to remove this cover you're gonna need a screwdriver remove this cover put the bolts aside there's another bolt right here and this one we need to remove this once it's loose turn it and now we need to remove this cover right here which is just plastic there so just remove it Now we flip it, we pull this, and we need to remove this, it's a little bit hard only one hand so let me just try to put it right here And we see that our little problem is gonna be right here. So this thing, when you close the door, that's the switch that tells the computer that the door is closed. And I see it's fine. We can hear a click. I don't know if you can hear a click, but I can hear it. There you go. Okay, and what happens is when you close this, it should close the whole thing like that and you see how that thing doesn't move very freely so that thing is stuck so i'm gonna clean all this and lubricate it and i'll be back once it's functioning right so i already cleaned it and i lubricated that spring right there i use just penetrating oil or you can use w40 it works the same so I'm just gonna show you what the mechanism should look like. So we have the here the switch. That's the portion that tells that this latch is closed. And I'm gonna show you the mechanism. When this thing closes, which is the, the door closing, you're gonna simulate the door closing, that part should go all the way up, like that. If it doesn't go up, um, that's why it got stuck and it wasn't closing because that part was getting stuck and it's very very sensitive so if I just move it here you can see it disengage that so what I'm gonna do is put it like in park, pos park position or neutral position and what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna bend the, the, the thing a little bit just enough so it can touch the uh, the metal right there and we should hear a click very very smooth there you go so that should make this thing work and that's that's the whole problem with this just this thing with the time and dirt it just gets really really stuck and the only way is to remove it and clean it and also just put a little bit of grease test it a couple times and I'm gonna just lubricate everything and put it back into the car.
All right, so I have the part already here and now I'm just gonna put it back to the vehicle. I'm gonna skip this part because you only have to do the reverse on it. And one tip, if you're removing it yourself, make sure this, uh, you bend it all the way in because otherwise you're not gonna be able to uh, put it in. So I need both hands here and uh, I'll put it back together. All right, so once you put it in, don't forget to install this because this, it's the, uh, for the reel of the, of the window. It's gonna go like, it goes like this. So you have to reach in and put it in because this is really important. Okay guys, so I reassembled everything and now I'm gonna test it. See if it works. And we see it's working now. Wee! Okay, now we open it. And both doors both doors open really nice. And this is gonna be a successful fix. So I hope you like the information guys and I'm just gonna reassemble everything this will be the end of the video guys please if you haven't subscribed like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next time all right bye I'm